This is another custom class shot. This is called the Shape Shifter, which is a really cool idea for a class in Hearthstone. Let me, uh, <clears throat> here we go. This is, this is my D&D &D game. What is it? Dungeon Master voice. <clears throat> I greet you. Are you waiting for the United? Wait, United Stormman in KP. We're passing it. That shit. And I have something to entertain you while you're waiting. I was working on my first class before I got to the second expansion of the Year of the Wolf. My custom Austin year. Austin year. Austin. Sodne year. Well, sorry, my bad. And I also to show it, and I present you to my first custom class, the Shapeshifter. So at least this gives us some context of when this car or this custom class was released. This was revealed, or this, I guess this was like released right after Forge and the Barons. So that means Diva Hunter was already in the game. This was 2021, which is not that long ago. So I'd imagine that this class is already up to par with what most of the classes are today. So we're going to be basing this off whether or not this would be a good class in current Hearthstone. Stone. This is what the uh, the art is, by the way. Oh my God! Everyone, get your pants back on, you freaking naughty boys. The hero powers two mana change form, transform a friendly minion into a shade. Uh, there's also mighty morphing, which is transform a friendly minion into a three three shade. So that is the upgraded version. For a second there, I was very confused. I was like, why does it have two hero powers? The shapeshifter, as the name suggests, are the masters of form of manipulation. It could turn anyone, anything, and themselves into anything. All right, let me yell it. Anything. Unlike druids who could transform themselves into beasts or shaman who could transform people into frogs, the hero representing this class is known as Nada Darklight. I, if I, hopefully I said that right. Any WoW experts in the chat? Is this a real person? An arch shapeshifter, arch shapeshifter, capable of shaping into anything to her liking. Her real name or form is unknown. Okay, so she's not, this is not actually her name. We just got straight bamboozled. <laughs> what we all truly know about her is her ultimate goal, become an old god. What the hell? What do we guys think? What do we think about the art design here? Okay, we got we got to design this. We got to look at this very carefully. Uh, do, would you like to see this in game where there's like two forming shapeshifters? Thoughts? It's kind of cool. Class icon bad. I could gotta see it. Now let's get to the important part: the strength, weaknesses, and the theme of the class. Dude, this guy. We gotta we gotta spell check here. Listen, I would make this many mistakes though. Tempo shapeshifters have access to pretty powerful tempo tools, and they do everything in their reach to conquer the board soon and never lose it. Okay, so this is a board centric class. That's a, that's actually a really nice thing. Sacred target removal. When a shapeshifter transforms into something. They don't want its friend to discover that they are an imposter. So they kill their targets as swift and clean as possible, finishing the job in a single blow. Versatility. Since they can assume many forms, shapeshifters can adapt to any situation. If they need to be aggressive to win, they get aggressive. If they need to control the situation, they control it. Messing with their opponent's mind is one of the main tools of the shapeshifter. Sometimes they don't even need to fight with their enemies just to confuse and annoy them enough until they lose the fight. Okay, without actually seeing the class, by the way, this is a very scary line of text because I know most people, when it comes to Hearthstone, they already hate when their opponent messes with them. Think of Priest, for example, right, chat? When Priest plays like with your cards or when you get ticketist or whatever, it's not a great feeling in Hearthstone. Uh, so this is a very scary line of text. Okay, I'm just gonna put that out there. But the thing with shapeshifters and just the whole concept here is that it has to be done in such a way that it feels like it would be fun to play against. Okay. Keyword class mechanics and themes. Okay. Morph. Do something after a minion transforms. Emphasis on after here. Morph. Do something after the transform. I just read that. Okay. So this is, oh, let's get a close up on the border here. What do you guys think? Kind of spicy. It's very, very eye catching. It looks like nothing else we've really seen in Hearthstone before. I kind of like it. All right. Uh, this is a four mana three, three morph. Destroy a random enemy minion. Okay. So does something after this transform. So if we go back up to the hero power real fast, transform a friendly minion. Okay. So in other words, this would be a six mana three, three that kills a minion. Okay. Costless cards, cards that cost around 4.5 mana who can only 4.5 mana. We break in the, the 0.5s here. It can only be played when another weaker card puts cost on it. This card generation is one of the main weaknesses of the class. They won't get those cards out of nowhere and end up with a useless card in hand. They must build their deck around those cards to probably use it. Sounds very situational. You can't play it unless you play a setup card first. Newborn Faceless. I like the art there. Weapon to one three. Battlecry set a cost of a random costless card in your hand to three. Oh, I see. Awful top deck would never see play. Yeah, like it doesn't even have like a question question mark right it's it's almost like the um the row card we got recently where it doesn't even have a mana cost on it 
that's really interesting wow that's uh that's a really okay, I, i'll hand it to him that's a really unique effect the the problem with this though is like top decking would be bad and you'd often hand like you'd often have a hand i feel like if the cards were good enough to see play where they just did nothing and that feels awful because the worst part about hearthstone is when you just you can't do anything like you're just sitting there and taking it a shapeless cards cards who will change their form each turn like shifter zeris molten blade or shifting scroll except that shapeless cards turn into specific and mechanical cards okay sample transform into a card that restores health that draws cards that can be played right away also they don't count as a costless card in order to make the costless archetype consistent <sighs> This is why there's a question mark here and there's not one on here. So when I was talking about the, the shadow of demise or whatever, uh, the reason why it, it doesn't have the question mark is because it's not a costless card. I'm understanding this a little bit more. Okay, so shapeless tome. Whoa, the border looks so strange with spells. What the hell? Each turn this is in your hand, transform into a random card that draws cards. Okay, first and foremost, before we even talk about it in the shapeless or the uh, shapeshifter class, would this card ever see play? What if you could put this card in your deck right now, chat? Would that card see play? Each turn this is in your hand, transform it into a random card that draws cards. That's that's really interesting if it was neutral some classes might actually want that because their draw so weak like i would maybe put that in shaman there's also forms temporary hero cards who only last until you lose armor unlike the usual hero card they are not legendary so you may put many in your deck and even stack forms to make them last longer note i kind of forgot shadow form was a card when i was creating them so ignore this little detail okay no two also ignore this little dragon on the top right they're not legendaries but the hearthstone cards doesn't have a dragless temple for hero cards i see okay so this is actually not a legendary chap dragon form nine mana Battle card, equip a four or five weapon. When you lose all armor, return to your base hero, and you'll also get a two mana hero power. Destroy a minion. Interesting, dude. So they would have the ability to just transform into different heroes as the game is going on. I will say that this is very convoluted, but once you get past the concepts, like the class sounds interesting, right? I feel like this would be a class that you would spend a lot of games on to make sure you understand how to play it. There's a lot of nuance. Faceless Dragon Worgens, what those three have in common, they're all shapeshifters, so they will be featured a lot in this class, both mechanically and flavorly. We'll, we'll look at a lot of these. Oh, let's look at the portraits first before we get to the cards. Oh, poggers, bro. Oh, oh, the blood. Dude, I'm not even kidding, chat. I would fucking kill for, a, for a, a portrait like this. I would love to have just a shaded border or shaded uh, portrait. I think this looks so dope in a game that's so colorful when you have these really popping grays and blacks. I'd pay for that. Hot winter. Oh, cold fire. Oh, let's go through this. We'll start with the um the basic set. I don't know how many cards are in here because there's not many of that cards. Okay. Uh, faceless destroyer. Nine mana. Five. See, you know what the problem with this class is? It's called shapeshifter. So, are you gonna really say nine mana five five shapeshifter minion? That's a freaking mouthful every single time. Okay, nine mana five five charge. Battle cry. Transform a friendly minion into a copy of this. Nine mana five five battle cry. Transform a friendly minion into a copy of this. I mean we we didn't really like they don't have buffs but that is 10 damage from hand if you have another minion that's kind of exciting if you do have buffs it would be cool but this is probably too weak but this is for the basic set this is for the basic set it procs morph too that is actually really true oh so you oh oh i see so if you have this minion on board you go faceless destroyer you change it you change the morpher it morphs it also destroys a random enemy minion yo that's kind of sick though like i'm gonna be real that's kind of that's kind of cool like i feel like that would feel so good in hearthstone i, I don't know if it's really like good though that's my problem this is probably too slow this is the basic set though chat just to be fair so usually the basic set would mean that this would be released in like like 2014 Hearthstone if this was released. Oh, so we do have a costless spell here. Okay. Darkness within. Transform a friendly minion into a 6-6 six, six Shadow Fiend. It's Shadow. And then we saw the Faceless Goliath earlier. So there has to be cards that would make these costless cards into a card that actually has mana. Okay, so let's see what we got. Random Morph. Random Morph. Three minute spell. Transform an enemy minion into a random one cost minion. Chat, what's your thoughts? That's a really interesting card too. So far, as much as this class, again, is very, very like difficult to understand for most people. Like I'm stupid. I couldn't figure it out for a while there. That's a sick ass card. Now, is it better than Hex? Probably not, <laughs> but it's it's cool. That's a cool card. I love the art too. Like the art is so good. It's cool as hell. Novice Shifter, two mana, two, three. Battle card, transform a friendly minion into a copy of this. Cool card too. Prox the Morph. That's awesome, dude. Oh my God. I love the art for this class, dude. Yeah, I, child. 
I'm gonna be honest here. I like this class a lot more than the Pokemon trainer. This is really, really cool so far. Shadow Destruction, two mana spell, destroy a minion that costs four or more. It's like Priest, but Priest can't do this. Priest sees a four cost minion and goes, no, thank you. No, thank you. Two mana though? That's pretty sick. It's basically like obliterate for Death Knight right now, right? We saw this one earlier. One mana, one three. Battle Christ at the cost of a random cost of spell in your hand. So if we can scroll up here, actually. Chat, would you play Darkness Within for three mana? Oh, but this also procs the morph though, doesn't it? Transforming. Oh my God, dude. I love this actually. This is so cool. Dude, I'm on board. Yo, put this in the game, dude. This is sick. Turn to dust. One mana, destroy a minion that costs two or less. Okay, I'm done. That's fine. Formless Tome. Each turn this is in your hand, transform into a random card that draws cards. I know I, I think this is going to be really cool in theory, but like imagine trying to play this without like losing your mind. I like that. I like the basic set. So let's look at the initiate set. This is the initiate set. I guess it would be right. So your cards were introduced in Knights of the Frozen Throne, the first expansion of a year after it was the Witchwood. The Shapeshifter initiate set would be launched alongside the Witchwood expansion already featuring rough. Okay. That gave us a huge idea of when this this class would have been released. So they're starting with basically the Witchwood, but this is the initiate set. All right. Oh my God, dude. I am I trying to pronounce these? Gosh, the coup. <laughs> Aim at a 5-5 battle cry, transform all other friendly minions into a copy of this. Okay, cool effect. Man, if there's any form of hand buffs in this class, that would be incredible. Because they work so well with the morph, and then they also get a bunch of big boys. This was a little, this is a little slow though. That card probably wouldn't see play. It's a little rough. Um, seven mana, seven, eight, Scythrax. Battle cry, draw all costless cards in your deck, set their cost to five. Whoa, yo, that's pretty sick. I know, that's a, like, you're basically trading mana cost for draw. And then the Witchwood, if this card, if this class was released during the Witchwood, you'd be pretty sick. All right, we saw the Dragon Form again. Equip a four or five weapon when you lose all armor, return to your base hero. Then the, that, okay, cool. All right, Frenzy Transformation. Five mana shadow spell transform a friendly minion into a eight eight dragon that it attacks all enemy minions. Dude, again, another really sick card to be honest with you. That's I'm surprised they haven't done this already. Is this guy predicting the future? What class did this go in? This would definitely go into something. That's a good card. Shadow Drake, three mana, sorry, costless three three battle card deal damage equal to this minion's cost and is a dragon. That's also really sick. Dude, that's so cool. That is, it's, okay, oh my God. I wanna I wanna just take a moment to really appreciate how much they thought about costless. That's, that's a really interesting mechanic and a balance point that people probably have never thought about before. That's sick. Oh my God, I love this. In the Witchwood, yeah, I absolutely would've. Yeah, that's pretty good in the Witchwood. Dark Neo Fight Battle Cry set the cost of a random costless card in your hand to one. Yo, that's, that, that might be turbo broke. <laughs> like, what? I guess if you hit, would you guys pay a, no, you, one mana, three, three, do one damage. Yo, that's so cool, man. I'm a huge fan of this class. This is actually sick as hell. Shapeless Shifter, one mana, one, one. Each turn, this is in your hand. Transform into a random minion that transforms cards. Again, super cool, man. Super cool. Brand plus that does two damage. Let's go, dude. Faceless Smasher. John, I hardly know her. Uh, six mana, five, four, rush, morph, summon a faceless smasher. I love that. That's awesome. Wait, I wonder, I wonder, this, I could be wrong, but because it says faceless smasher, I wonder if you could just keep morphing it. So you just keep getting five fours with rush in the witch would that be sick. That's cool, dude. Wicked shaping two mana spell, draw three costless cards, set their cost to five. Again, really interesting mechanic here because like you're drawing three cards for two mana. That's really, really good. But then you're setting their cost to five. So it's like, is it a downgrade? Is it a, pay a good payoff? Really cool, man. Really cool. All right. Transform a random minion into your opponent's hand into a 3-3 dog. <laughs> Dude, the art. He's got Valir as a dog, bro. Oh my God. That's so cool. Rock form, two mana hero card. When you lose all armor, return to your base here. So you would actually, sp chat, would you spend two mana? Do we know the hero power? Sturdy, passive, your cards cost three more. Oh my God. That's so cool. Dude, that's so cool. Cause you, you wouldn't play this for two mana on turn two. You would play this when you're about to die. Like if you thought you were gonna die and then your opponent can interact with it, decide not to proc the actual rock form here. But if you have a weapon, oh my God. Yo, that is sick. Possess Spellcaster, two mana, two, three. Battle cry set the cost of a random costless card in your hand to two. Okay, cool. Good effect. Cause you got, we need more of these. Art looks a little strange in this one, but it is what it is. Formless color, one mana, one, two, morph, draw two cards. Okay. 
again really interesting because you would play this on turn one and then you you would hear a power so that if you hear a power this into a two two you also draw two cards so you're spending like two mana two you're spending two mana to draw two cards and you get a two two uh draconic mistress six mana four six morph transform into a four twelve dragon instead like what the hell oh my god draw one would be fine two seems broken with this i mean but it might just be a one minute one two right you're, you're also spending the two mana afterwards i think it's fine like especially in current hearthstone no, there's way better cards than this swindle is literally two ma two mana draw a spell and a minion with combo this is cool too you morph this card but then it also it, it doesn't take the transformation so you can use your hero power on this to summon a 412 dragon which is actually pretty balanced madness spreader summon a copy of this if this costs five or more summon two instead okay that card's a little slow but that's really unique man if you made this card cost two mana though okay really cool card sneaky morpher three mana two four morph give a random friendly minion stealth okay that one's fine I, I was trying to think of like I would be a little worried for this one but because you have to morph and you only get to do it once really really cool everlasting shifter two mana three two death rattle transform a random friendly minion into a copy of this I don't know if that card's necessarily good but the, the it would be interesting with morph if you really needed a morph that'd be interesting berserker worgen two mana three three rush at the end of your turn transform into a one one human does it transform back I guess not wait Dude, this card's sick. This is su this is such a well-designed card. You get the benefit immediately, but then you get a one-one right after, and then you have a two-mana one-one on board. And if it's it's in flavor with the worgens too, right? Heavy mist, one mana spell for shadow. Oh, one mana spell for shadow. One mana shadow spell. Heavy mist. Your opponent's minions cost two more next turn. This might be too broken at one mana, but okay. <laughs> I guess it's it's for disruption, so they, it, I guess it fits into the class that they want to make there. Sword form, two mana, five armor. Battle card give a friendly minion plus three attack when you lose all armor. Armor, return to your base hero okay what's the hero power for this two mana give your hero plus three attack this turn only dude that it's so funny though because it fits so well into the flavor of shadow form because if you're gonna be a sword you might as well deal damage as a sword <laughs> Formless Shadow, zero mana, one, one stealth. Okay, uh, not even kidding. This might be one of the scariest cards of all time. Uh, zero, can you imagine a zero mana, one, one stealth? My God, that would be so spooky. I don't know about you guys. Chat, how are you guys feeling about this? You guys like this? I'll keep going, but I'm I'm having a lot of fun with this. All right, so this is for the Witchwood. Mechanic not well explored in the Witchwood was the Worgen mechanic. I mean, they were explored, but they just weren't good. Cards that would switch their attack and health at the end of their turn. And since transformation of the main thing of the Shapeshifters, this will be their main theme. Okay, this is sick. All right, I can't wait to see how they do this. All right, Vitus Vitus, the exiled six mana seven five battle card for the rest of the game all minions swap their stats at the end of their turn of its owner's turn wait all minions swap their stats at the end of its owner's turn whoa wait that's kind of sick that's dude that means your opponent would also have to start thinking about it oh my god is that a broken effect i don't know if that's broken but it would be it'd be something that would drastically change the game oh my god okay phantom shifter nilo nilo sorry if i got the wrong three minute four three echo battle card transform a friendly mini into a copy of this fits so in flavor with the witchwood too really like it worgen form four mana seven armor battle cry equip a three two claw when you lose all armor return to your base form savage instant passive hero power the first minion you play each turn gains plus one plus one and rush that would be so nutty but again if you lose that form I I, I also want to compliment the idea of the shapeshifter like hero forms because I think it's really interesting that your opponent now makes a decision of like oh if I just get rid of their hero they no longer do this that's pretty cool but this one might be too good shapeless ghost one mana one one each turn this is in your hand transform into a random playable minion yo I would actually love this in the game one of the problems with shifter Zeros is that he'll actually just do nothing some of the time but this would be always playable it's just a good curve filler I wouldn't be surprised if they just printed this as like a neutral card just says in the game night stalker costless card four five battle cry if this has an even cost gain rush otherwise gain taunt oh that's also really interesting this is some really good game design ghostbuster three minute two two battle card choose a friendly transform minion summon a copy of its original form dude it's so it's just so cool man I'm, I'm also surprised that card like this doesn't exist into the game I guess there's not a lot of like cards that really transform but that's so like it's such a fun idea for a class like this curse drink three mana spell Echo transform a friendly minion into a 3 3 Wargum with Rush. Again, that's fine. That one's crazy, bro. Si no, oh my God. Yeah, with Shaman, like you evolve a minion and then you summon the original copy of it. Dude, yo, Blizzard, card this, bro. Just, just blatantly copy a card like this. You could just get it back. Oh my God. There's so many possibilities there. That's crazy. Toxic Scientist, two mana, three one stealth poisonous. Each turn this is in your hand, swap its attack and health. Yeah. Good guard probably would see play in some cases. I mean, yeah, I'll be all right. Flexile Shifter, three mana, 
four three whenever this switches attack and health gain plus one plus one wherever it is so this would have to be played with the legendary then right whenever this switches attack and health you need you need that legendary that just starts swapping minions cost but i don't think this is very playable it's too specific gilnea slayer five minute four six has taunt while this has more health and attack and life steal again oh my god Th this is an effect that should have been in the Witchwood. Like this kind of play style with the swapping, mint. Mint effect for Witchwood. That's actually incredible. We've seen this art somewhere. Rushing Worgen, four minute, three, three rush. After this attacks and kills a minion, you have a random minion in your hand, plus two, plus two. Oh, there is hand buffs. Oh, Bloodborne Beast, three mana, four, three death battle, switch the attack and health of all enemy minions. That's kind of sick. Probably wouldn't see play though. Moon Presence, two mana, one, two battle cry. If your deck only has even cost cards, summon two copies of this. There we go, dude. Now we're on the Gen and Baku train. Only even cost cards. I mean, that's that's a lot of stats, but I don't think it really matters. Full Moon, swap the attack and health of all minions in your hand. Oh my God. Yo, this is sick. It, it's that's so in flavor with the expansion. Chimney Cleaner, two mana, one, three, morph, transform into a three, five war with a rush instead. I love this. I love this. I love this. Bio Engineer Shahululu. <laughs> Six minute five six start of game secretly transform your hero into your opponent until you play a card secretly transform into your hero until you play a card bro this is literally maestro was maestro announced before united and stormwind was this already in the game did he like is this said this this came out right before united and stormwind that's pretty sick this would be released in the boomstead that's what he wanted for the x factor four mana spell give all minions in your hand and deck rush poisonous lifesteal win free or stealth at random Yo, that's this is a spooky ass card, bro. But uh, sure, whatever. That's your le that's the legendary spell of the booms there, because every single class got a legendary spell for that expansion. Mechanize seven mana spell destroy an enemy minion. Summon a random mech for you of the same cost. Oh my god, that would be kind of sick. Adam form four mana battle cry. Give your hero stealth until the start of your next turn. When you lose all armor, return to your base hero. This is broken. That's 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 just broken. We saw how good that is with Rogue. Okay. All right. We see our first big blunder here, chat. We see our first big blunder. This could never be in the game. This this would never be in the game. This is broken. This is broken. Uh, enemy enemies have 50% chance to miss attacks on your hero because it, it doesn't also say it attacks a random like another target. It just says miss. So imagine you swing and you're in the, the the minion just fizzles out and just goes back to where it was. You'd be so confused. Potion tester. What the frick's going on with the art here? My God, four minute, four, three battle cry set the cost of two random costless minions in your hand to three. That could be insane. I like it. Power surger. Your hero power costs one less and can be used twice per turn. Dude, that would be sick with the morph effect and it's costless. Oh my God. I love this. Boom bot MK2, two mana, one, one rush battle cry. Combine all friendly boom bots into this boom bots. Wait, I haven't seen a boom bot card yet. I guess this is a boom bot to say magnetize. Well, it's not. It's like reverse magnetize, right? It's not. You're not adding this minion to another minion. You're adding all minions on the board to this. Dr. Boom makes boom bots. Yeah, fair enough. But where Dr. Boom wasn't in standard when Boomstay project was released, I think, right? Plant bomb. One mana. Choose a minion at the start of your next turn. Destroy it in its name or its. So that's like corruption for Warlock. Corruption never really saw play. One turn delayed removal and now siphon soul cost four mana would that see play i guess you would play this but then you would play like the rock hero right so then you defend yourself for a turn and then those minions die and then you're you're just you're just happy dna alteration one mana give a minion rush poisonous or life steal at random i'm not a huge fan of this effect i don't, I don't like the fact that like this is kind of reminds me of um implosion where like you don't actually know like the the, the variance of this card is just insane because you don't know what you're actually getting cyber drake Aim at a 6-5 rush death rattle summon a 5-6 dragon with taunts. Oh, here we go. Now we're summoning boom bots. In the boom state, would this card be playable? I'm not sure. It's a mech. That's really spooky. Uh, remember Corrupting Mist? Yeah, Corrupting Mist didn't really see play either, right? This is like the same thing. Damage controller, four mana, three, two, death rattle summon two, one, one boom bots. There you go. There's the boom bots chat. And the boom bots are cool because you could transform the boom bots, like morph them. Mecha chicken, two mana, two, two, battle card, transform a friendly minion into a one, one boom bot. It's a mech. Also really, really cool. Malicious experimenter, four mana, three, six. Your other minions have more summon a one, one subject. That one's probably too slow, but I guess the bright side of it is like you'd have another creature to morph which is great mutating project two minute spell each player transform a random one of their minions into a four four mutant cool card enhance one mana give a random minion in your hand plus one plus one and rush that's also not too bad dude i love how the worgen's getting worked on <laughs> that's sick 
Uh, chat, what I might not have start doing is just look at like the legendaries for each expansion because um, I don't know if I have time to look at all of these, man. This is going to take me forever to go through every single card. All right, Rastakhan. Arch Morpher Macuba. God, I don't freaking know, bro. I guess this is the Loa. I'm not really. Oh, no. The False Loa. If I'm a 3 3 battle card, choose a minion, transform all other minions into a copy of this. Dude, dude. That's awesome. That's actually such a unique design for a car class like this. Your your opponent has minions on board that you just can't do with. It's like an AOE, but not really. Is it good? I'm not sure, but I like the effect a lot. Kithix, the false Loa. Again, if I pronounce these names wrong, I'm super sorry. Costless, 3-4. After a friendly minion transforms, summon a copy of it. Insane chat. You guys got to remember that um, Druid had... Druid had... What is that card called? We played it today, where it makes every single minion into a 2-2 Treant. It's almost the exact same thing. It's almost the exact same thing. It's not that bad. It seems fine. Urbashi Charger, 8 mana, 7 far charge, battle card destroy a taunt minion. Oh my god, that'd be broken. 6 mana, 6 6 battle card transform a friendly minion to a random one that died that game. Or this game, sorry. Transform a friendly minion to a random one that died this game. Yo, that's kind of sick too, actually. Has this been in the game before, chat? We've had like resurrection. That's kind of sick. Dual casting, cost destroy a minion and freeze its neighbors. Not bad. Voodoo Shadow Man, 4 mana, 3 4 battle card summon a 1 1 copy of an enemy minion. And when one dies, destroy the other. Dude, we actually. <laughs> We almost got the exact same card with reverberations, right? Almost. Spirit of the Faceless, three mana, zero, three stealth for one turn. Whenever you play a minion, transform into a four, four faceless. Dude, that would be turbo broken. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. In a class like this? Storm Shaper, three mana, two, three battle card, transform a random spell in your hand into one that costs two more. It keeps the cost. That's pretty sick. Spirit Shaper, two mana, one, two more. Reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by two. So you could you could play this card and use your hero power on it to basically bank the mana for a different card. That's kind of interesting. Mysterious Drake, six mana, six, six. Cost one less for each friendly minion that transformed this game. It's a dragon. This could be really good. Frog Rider. What the frick? Five mana, three, seven, taunt. Death Rattle summon a zero, one frog with taunt. Why does it? I feel like uh, the frog here must be a little bit bigger. This is actually not a great card, but I, I guess the theory behind it is if it summons like a zero, one frog, you just morph it right after it dies voodoo blast four mana deal three damage to a minion overkill destroy one of its neighbors i mean that card is crazy oh my god if you get if you do get the overkill on that that's fucking gas bro troll brute four mana five five battle cry attack a random enemy minion that's fine not a great card but it is what it is raptor caller one mana one one morph summon a three two raptor man crit transformation one mana spell transform a friendly minion into a three three panther then it attacks a random enemy minion dude i feel like that's too slow even for rostakon do you your minion have to be pretty bad but i guess if you go oh i get it i get it you play this and then you play this and it's like oh that's a spicy that's a spicy turn right there let's see this the, the legendaries here zyder me i don't know bro these names are fucking whack seven mana five ten more for turn to your last turn this keeps the transformation return to your last turn this keeps the transformation i would have to see that in play to really understand what that means because does that mean like the previous turn or does that mean the current turn you're on when you did the morph? You know what I mean? That's that, that's where I'm because you technically didn't end your turn when you morph this. That's so weird. Yeah, it's hard to I, I, I mean, cool effects, but I don't know if that would actually ever be printed. That's a weird card. Torvik, the mysterious three mana one six. Your spells have twin spells and the copy is costless. It's from all spells in your deck in a hand to random ones that cost one less, bro. This would be the most fun. This would be the most fun card in the game. Saviors. Victor Blackrock, three mana, three, four. Battlecry, if your deck has no duplicates, your forms are permanent this game. Uh, yo, that would be crazy, actually. Okay, search for relics, one minute quest, end two turns with at least five minions, and you get Titanic Forge. Titanic Forge is two mana transform a friendly minion into a five, three keeper with charge. How hard is that? That's actually really, really hard. Grant likes this class too much to follow his own rules. I do. I keep saying how I'm only going to look at some of the cards, but then as I keep on reading, I get excited to look at more cards. It's so cool, man. Is this broken? I don't think so. I think that's really hard. Ah, it's OK. I got to keep looking, child. I'm sorry. Stone Guardian, 8 mana, 5, 10, taunt, death row, transform a random enemy minion into it. This is, oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty I, I, That's probably not That's not good, I think. I think you would rather just have the, the dude from Priest, the... The guy who thinks he's what's his name? The disguise bro chat. I'm in a two six dude. You guys know what I'm talking about mummy form. Give your hero reborn when you lose all armor. Return to your base hero. Give your hero reborn. Is that what? I'm going to random friendly minion that died this game. Oh, my God. I guess you would keep the reborn after you swap back, right? That one's a lot weaker than ice block. The hero power is pretty gas, though. 
cool card, man. Suspicious Statue, 2 mana 2, 4 can't attack, Morph, give all friendly minions rush. Agent Statue, 5 mana 3, 6 can't attack, Morph, summon a copy of this. Why would you want to summon a copy of this, though? Head Shaper, Stuff Sand Chest, Morph, attack a random enemy minion. That's cool. <sighs> okay, I'm actually, chat, I'm really excited for this. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for this. Galacron the Shady, 7 mana. Galacron transform all friendly minions into 2 2 shades with rush. Galacron the Apocalypse, 7 mana. Isn't there one called the Apocalypse already? Battlecry, transform all friendly minions into 4 4 shades with rush. Okay. 7 mana, Azeroth's End. Battlecry, transform all friendly minions into 6 6 shades with rush. Equip a 5 2 claw. Yeah, that's fine. Galacron's Darkness, hero power summon a 3 1 shade with stealth. Uh, so, because you're going to invoke this, you could attack with these and then you get transform 2 2s. Or right, then we get more legendaries. Oh my god. Nefari and the Betrayer, 9 minute 8 8 battle card duplicate all cards in both players decks without duplicates really slow card like this wouldn't see play but cool idea overlord oh my god what is this word oh my god i've never actually i gotta i gotta pull it to google translate otherwise i'm gonna sound like an idiot trying to pronounce this boss curian okay battle card transform all one one minions into your hand and deck into random lackeys fuck that shit <laughs> Forgotten God, 10 minute five, seven ton at the end of your turn, transform an adjacent minion into a copy of this. Adjacent minions into a copy of this. Oh my God, it just keeps going. Shapeless dragon, one minute, one, one, each turn this in your hand, transform into a random dragon. Cost three less if you've invoked twice. God, that's just so fucking sick. Crush the world, love the art there. Like of undeath, six mana, spell filled both players, boards with random minions of theirs that died this game. Whoa! I mean, it's probably bad for you in most cases, but that's pretty sick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go again. I'm gonna start with this one. Harbinger Skyris. Five mana, four, seven taunt, death row shuffle, Skyris Prime into your deck. I'm gonna five, eight, battle cry, summon four random taunt minions from your deck. Damn. Holy moly, imagine. Okay, chat, I'm gonna try my best. Calavar. Nine mana, seven, five, battle cry, replace your opponent's hand with random demons. When they play, all of them return the hand. That's awesome. Probably too slow, but really unique effect. Oh my God, I love some of these, dude. Phoenix form, eight mana, six durability. Battle cry, resurrect two friendly minions that die this game. When you lose all armor, return to your base form. Rebirth, whenever a friendly minion dies, add a two cost spell to your hand that resurrects it. Oh my God. Yo, that's pretty sick. Cause then your opponent, your opponent then has to think about, do I kill my, my opponent's minions or do I kill his Phoenix form? The dormant imprisoned inquisitor, three mana, three, three dormant for two turns. When this awakens, transform into a random minion in your hand. That is not good design good sir that is a spooky ass design you don't want that ever that's like barns on a stick all right let's see what its dual class card is mr bigglesworth two mana one one morph summon mr bigglesworth oh, okay so it's infinite yo that would be sick actually because it has stealth so you could just keep on going it's like it's an infinite morph target that's really nice is it is there a dual class there is evolutionary kogomel that's what shaman chat i guess that makes sense because they're both trying to transform three mana three four spell verse transform your minions into ones of the same cost as the spell dude Dude, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do this in Scholomance? They could have done this with Shaman and Mage. Yo, I love that. Mutation, seven mana, transform an enemy minion and its neighbor into a one one Murloc. Oh my God. <laughs> Void Totem, four mana, zero four, battle card choose a minion at the end of your turn, transform adjacent minions into a copy of this. Dude, not even kidding though. Be broken in Shaman, be broken. Mad Evolutionary, two mana, two, three, morph, transform into a random minion that costs one more. It's overload one. Oh my God. There's... And then it's with Druid, because Druid also shape shifts. Tree Shaper Monarch, seven mana, six, six, battle card. Oh my God, holy crap. Look at this text box, chat. It's not even a battle cry. Look at this text box. Choose twice, gain taunt, rush, plus two attack, plus two health, plus one, plus one, an empty mana crystal, five armor, or draw a card. For Skull Bands, that card's pretty weak, uh, especially for Druid. Druid would not play that card. Yeah, it's a pretty weak card, unfortunately. Um, Beast Form, seven mana hero card. Choose one, transform into a bear, lion, or wolf. When you lose all armor, return to your base hero. All right, bear form, gain five more armor. Passive, your hero has taunts. Lion form, equip a 3-2 claw hero power, give your minions plus one plus one. Wolf form, gain stealth this turn, only hero power, summon two one one wolves. I mean, all of these are so unique in their own right. I don't know about lion's form too much, but dude, that I have always wondered if they're ever gonna do this. Like your hero has taunt, because it's in PvE, but they've never done it in PvP yet. All right, let's see. Madness. Oh my god. Oh my, oh yeah, because this is what the old gods came out. Wait, this guy's getting three legendaries this set, dude. They're going above and beyond here. Cruel and Licka, like a super twins. What a name. Eight mana, five, five morph. Summon a three, six water elemental that freezes and transform into a five, five beast with stealth instead. That's too weak. That's way too weak. Uh, Queen Ashara, six mana, four, four battle card. Transform a random enemy minion into a one, one Naga. Corrupt all enemy minions instead. Damn. 
In chat, she's kind of looking like a baddie, if I'm going to be honest with you. She's kind of looking like a baddie. Uh, corrupted. That's what she looks like. Old God form. 10 mana. Battle cry. Destroy all enemy minions except highest cost one. When you lose all armor, return to your base hero. Okay. Whispers of the Void. Train, take control of an enemy minion for one turn. I mean, it's probably okay. I wish it was a little cooler, but it, it's pretty sick. Roller coaster ride, shuffle all minions into their owner's deck at the start of your next turn, return them. Dude, that is so like, what an interesting design card too, man. Oh my God, I love so many of these. This is the core set. Let's see what's in the core set. This is just the cards from like the basic set that they would keep. Okay, that's the core set. Let's see Barons. So Barons was the most updated set or the most recent set when they when they designed this. And I'm guessing they would get their own like hero person, whatever they're called. Kayla Winfury, Kyla Winfury, one of those. Seven minutes, six, six, battle cry, trigger the battle cry of all minions in your hand. Bro, that would be so wild. Holy moly. Would that, okay, what class would actually get this? Shaman probably would get that. Dude, I wonder how insane that card would be if you can just do that. Like you don't have to pick, there's, there's potentially so much mana cheat here that it, it would be disgusting, wouldn't it? Four mana, four, four, Whirlwind Dustclaw. While in your hand, this is a four, four copy of the last enemy minion that died. Sick card, sick card, dude. Orc form, three mana, battle cry equip a two, two axe. When you lose all armor, return to your base hero. Draw a battle cry minion for the horde. <laughs> dude, that's so, man, so flavorful. Actually so flavorful here. Cause that's, that's that, Chad, if you don't know, that's that's the battle cry of the horde, right? For the horde, like that's what they say. Blood Shaper, eight minutes, six, seven, battle cry summon two, one, one copies of a random morph minion in your hand. That could be sick. Hey, it's that one thing. If you know, you know. Dude, I think this was sick, okay? I think this was really, really cool. I'm a big fan. I would actually really like something like this in the game. If I hope they, at least the Hearthstone team has looked at this and been like, wow, this was actually really cool. Maybe we should put some of the stuff in here. I'm a big fan. I like it a lot more than the other one. I, I think like basically what would have to happen here is I think they would have to make this a little bit easier to understand because the concept is cool. It's just the costless mechanic might be really weird for a lot of people, but I guess once you once you get it, you understand it pretty easily. Like I needed an example to fully understand it more, but like I think this makes more sense. I love this. I think it's so cool. Like I, I've said it time and time and again, I hope when Hearthstone makes a new class, it's something like this, something that's completely out of the box.